We are at the Lord Nelson Hotel and they have upgraded us to a deluxe king suite. There's a baby too. What? We have a living room. Oh, this is so nice. Oh, the bathroom. <gasps> Whoa. I'm so happy right now. for three days to explore Halifax. Hopefully the weather cooperates and we get up to lots of outdoor adventure. If not, we'll be checking out a lot of sweet little spots that you can visit indoors. Okay. Yeah. So we just checked in kind of late. It's getting a bit dark and there's a storm coming. Hurricane Laura. Laura, yeah. Just like a little bit of it. It's kind of just rain. Just started to rain. So we ordered room service and later we're going to go check out some axe storm. Thinking, we're not positive, so we probably shouldn't say a plan that we're not positive we're doing yet. But we think we're gonna go we're back going to go back to I'm doing that. Really must have thrown Max. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. We're so hungry. I got the Buddha bowl. Oh my gosh. Oh, that looks so good. Can't do the guy. I've got a burger. Fries. And then there's What's under there? <laughs> <laughs> what is you it? You don't know? No, I don't know. Because I knew that you would not going to be eating your fries. More fries. I a plate of fries. Whoa. You're not going to eat all of that. Here we go. So we are here at Holly Mac Axe Throwing, and we've never thrown an axe before, but Dan just told us not to, so. Let's see how it goes. First try. Oh god! Let's see it. Whoa! You got it! You, you won the prize. I won the prize. <laughs> That's amazing. Did you make that? I did not. Oh, wow. The pro. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'll just stay. <laughs> Bye. How did you like axe throwing last night? Oh my gosh, it was really fun. Got a little bit competitive, didn't it? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I hate competitions, but if I'm slightly good at something, I tend to love them. I'm a hypocrite. Axe throwing was <laughs> really, really fun. It was so fun. It's like you get to like awaken this like inner power. It's yeah. like axe throwing. Vibe. Then the guy comes out with the big axe and just like throws it like nothing that and was it's super heavy yeah that was pretty intense <laughs> uh so today very exciting we are going to george's island in halifax they the just opened this up this yeah. year with parks canada 
I'm so excited. I hope we see some snakes. Did you know that there's a bunch of snakes on this island and Very tunnels nice. to explore? And yeah, there's like a billion <laughs> things about it, but we'll tell more information and give you a little tour of everything today. So we just went to Murphy's and we got our boarding pass. Pretty excited. So this is actually completely sold out. George's Island just opened up this year and all of the tickets are sold out, but there is a wait list that you can get your name on. But it all ends Labor Day weekend. After that though, keep an eye out for next season. How long is the ferry? 10 minutes? 10 minutes? I think. Mm -hmm. Not possible. So we're just gonna explore the island? Yeah! Let's go on a tour. This house was built in 1960 for a lighthouse keeper and his family, and they lived in it until 1972. Because then the lighthouse became automated. So. The biggest one I would say is, is uh, to watch your step. It's quite uneven in there, it's all original, so please be very careful about where you're stepping. Uh, little steps up, steps down. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Here where we just were, I can stand all the way down at this really in vogue anymore. But that's what these weapons were, uh, were designed to retaliate against, and you'll see as we go down. The guy said that these cannons take 750 pound bullets. That's it's just crazy. about what I weigh, <laughs> it's just about me. George's Island is open weekends until Labor Day. It's all booked up right now, but you can try to call through Murphy's and get on the wait list. We've been having a great season and we're really looking forward to opening it again next year. How did you like George's Island? Oh my gosh, it was so cool. It was really cool. It was really cool. To so finally be there too, like, and be seeing it for so many years. Well, if you've been to the Citadel, so they're explaining, like, the whole fort is built quite similar to the Citadel. So if you've been to the Citadel, which yeah. is another cool tour you should definitely check out in Halifax. It's awesome. So it's very similar to that, but it's the island in the middle of the Halifax Harbor, which is just really, really neat. We did not see any snakes. <laughs> I wasn't. I forgot to look for them, but yeah, I didn't see any. No, nothing. None of them popped out. Apparently, this island is infested with snakes because like nobody is ever there. But since they opened up the tours and the accessibility this year, the snakes have retreated. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. the so, tunnels were really, really awesome to check out as well. I think that that's. It's just a unique thing to do. Now their bookings, like the guy said, are all booked up, but. Look forward to it next year. Put it on your bucket list for Halifax for next year. So we just got cab and coffee. It's super good. Recaffeinated. Yeah. Re-energized because it's we got warm today oh, after it's hot. that storm. Like wow. Now we're going to Bar Kismet. Mm -hmm. Bar Kismet, which opened up, I 
think in 2015 or 16 when we were living in Halifax so a good like five or four years ago and I've always wanted to go it's like one of those restaurants that you always intend to visit when you're in when you're somewhere but you never get to so I'm excited I missed you What is up with all of these little baby clotheslines? It's the second one we've seen in the past few weeks. In the past few days. So what did you get? What is that? I don't remember. Okay, so I got the rough and rowdy ways, which is dry gin, mint, salted pineapple syrup, Italian aperitif, and lime. And what's mine? A lot of colada. A lot of colada. So David's is pineapple, overproof rum, mint, fernet, banana, and cognac, and coconut milk and coconut water. That smells amazing. Kismet. So damn good. It was so good. We're so full. We're really full and the cocktails were amazing. And now we are off to go to the waterfront in Halifax and we're gonna go enjoy sunset. On a sailboat. On a sailboat. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Let's go. And more more food. We're getting cheese. We're getting cheese and wine. <laughs> more cheese wine. And wine. JF sailing? JF sailing. Oh god, okay. <laughs> No price difference or anything, and it's just like our own little date night. I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so we just watched the sunset right near the Dingle Tower, which is just down the northwest arm. And then we have this moon, and that's the Silva sailboat. The moon is crazy right there. now. I'm kind of lost for words. This is a really cool experience. <laughs> Something for people that used to live in Halifax and have actually kind of like walked about and watched this area from afar to experience on the water is pretty special. Cheers. 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 <laughs> They're not like glass cups. They're like they look like glass.
just stopped at Halley Deli and I got a smoked meat sandwich, smoked meat club. And what did you get? I don't remember. It was a deli <laughs> something sandwich. <laughs> How dare you? But it looks so good. Look at these fries. So we're heading over to Dartmouth today to go kayaking in the Shuby Canal. Yeah, we're gonna get the ferry over to show that, but we're gonna just drive. It's a bit of a jaunt from the, <laughs> from the waterfront. So. From downtown Dartmouth. <laughs> yeah, all the way up to Shuby. Hi. Just kayaking the Shuby Canal. It's pretty fun. <laughs> no. That was so pretty. That was definitely not a place that I knew about before and that I wish I knew about when I used to live here in Halifax because that is gorgeous. It was really, really pretty. Probably be super pretty in the fall. Yeah. Yeah, we should come back for fall. We should come back. Take our own kayak though. Mm -hmm. So kayak rentals were $15 an hour. It's not even that bad, really. Like, that's a great, like, date idea, or yeah. like, take the kid out, or, and it's $20 an hour for a tandem kayak. So. Guess who's with us? Indy! Indy! Hello! Look at her! Our best friend is joining us for the next week. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> We're so happy to have her back. Yeah. She uh, went on her own little vacation with two labs. She and, got a haircut uh, and a bath. <laughs> grand and granddad, and yeah. Huh? Big guns. She's got so much energy. Oh my gosh. So we're off to fishing or Eastern Passage to like Fisherman's Cove. Is Fisherman's it? Cove. That's is it. Is that what it's called? Oh. Look who's joining us. <laughs> we got her back. Mwah. Friend. Huh? So we're at Fisherman's Cove. Fisherman's Cove, it's gorgeous. Let's go get ice cream. David really wants ice cream. <laughs> when do you know? What did you get? Blueberries and cream. Mm. Your turn? Mm. Whoa. You never had blueberries and cream? That's really good. Mm -hmm. What did Indy get? I love. So we're here at Cormac's Beach and you can see Fisherman's Cove just behind us here. And then you can also see all the way down to downtown Halifax. Which is super cool. There's this nice boardwalk here. Never knew this was here. I think Fisherman's Cove. Well, I knew Fisherman's Cove. Yeah, a lot of people know that that's there, <laughs> but they don't realize that there's like a really nice boardwalk and beach area right beside it. Yeah. Gives you an even better view of Fisherman's Cove than when you're at Fisherman's Cove. And Indy approves of the water. I got the tomato butter gnocchi with ricotta cheese and there's some cheese also in it as well. I'm so bad at telling you about food. <laughs> I just love eating food. What about my meatballs? Oh sorry, you got the lamb meatballs. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Again, so bad. 